Want to grow in your faith? Grow a field of clover. Confessions, life, Our Lady, vocations, Eucharist, and revealed word. I'm Father Danda, and welcome again to another Malachian Minutes. Today and this week, I want to talk to you about vocations. You know, a lot of people just associate vocations with, with the priesthood or becoming a, a religious sister or religious brother, but let's not forget that marriage, the single life, those are vocations too. Vocation simply means God's plan, God's calling for your life. And it doesn't matter if you are called to be a, a priest, a nun, or a single person, or a married person and have a family and do something in the world. God has a vocation, a plan for your life. And it's, it's not about us just fit saying, you know, this is what I want. You know, this is what I want to do with my life. We need to set our, our, sides, our plans aside if we want to call ourselves Christian and really just try to do what God wants us to do with our life. That's why he gave us a life. And so I, I want to share today a little bit about uh, my ordination. You know, I feel that following God's vocation is a great adventure. Whether you fell in love with somebody or you're considering a, a vocation of the priesthood and religious life, it is an adventure to follow God's will. I never could have imagined years ago when I was a kid sitting at St. Malachi's school learning my ABCs, uh, one, two, threes, that one day I would be studying for the priesthood in Rome, that I would be celebrating Mass in the Holy Land, that I would be attending Masses with the Pope. I, I never imagined any of that would be part of my, my journey to, to my vocation and fulfilling my vocation. And yet here I am. You know, I was amazed when after college seminary, Archbishop B. Klein asked me to go and study for the next five years in Rome. And what a blessing that was to, to travel around to about 26 countries while I was there, to study with people from all around the world, from South to Korea, to Pakistan, to, to India, so many other places throughout Europe that uh, I would make friends from around the world based on our, our faith and, and our desire to serve the Lord. And so when it came to time to be ordained a deacon, you know, it was a beautiful moment to, to go to St. Peter's and to, to lay down on the floor of St. Peter's uh, at the altar of the chair and to give my life away to, to the Lord. I remember it almost as though it were yesterday, even though it was over 12 years ago, hard to believe right now, but God is so good and I, I have just been so blessed to follow his call and to e even have him bring me back to the parish where I grew up. I remember after my first mass, one of the servers asked me, are you going to come back and be the pastor here at St. Malachi? And I thought, there's no way. We just don't do that. Uh, that's just not going to happen. And I said, well, maybe. We'll just see, you know. And look, here I am. I mean, what an adventure it has been. And so that's how we need to approach our vocation. That's how we need to see. We need to learn about all these vocations. What do they entail? Because it is an adventure if we would just give God a chance and put our own plans aside and just focus in on what he wants us to, to do with our very lives as well. So let's have that courage to, to promote vocations, to see our own lives as having a vocation and to keep growing in our faith in the Lord and especially encouraging our young people to do the same.